everyone, Josh here, back with another Wargaming Noob Builds an Army. This time around, I'm going to take that Africa Core infantry box that I unboxed a few months ago and create a 500-point list to go up against James's British Commonwealth, which is a battle report we'll be recording in the next few weeks. So, um, if you've never done a, an army build or a list build for uh, any bolt-action uh, army, uh, the first thing you want to do is obviously go to Easy Army, and then from there select a selector in order to build your force. So real quickly what I did was I took the 1941 DAC Light of Division uh, selector from the Western Desert book and created a almost 500 point list. I really couldn't fit a lot um, into that list uh, because Germans in general are expensive in bolt action and you know you kind of just 500 points is very limiting uh, but it is a point total that James and I like to play because it really tests our list building and then allows us to play shorter games that we can record. Uh, so what I want to do is kind of go through my selections for this list and then kind of show off later on uh, what I built out from that infantry box to, to get to this point. So um, first off, I'm going to go to our list here. Again, 1941 DAC Light Division from the Western Desert book. I have six order dice with a total of 493 points. So I went with the first lieutenant here at regular, uh, which came out to 95 points, and gave him two bodyguards uh, because I had a couple models that were modeled with uh, submachine guns in this particular list. You can only take like one submachine gun, uh, which I'll go through when we get to the infantry squads. So I ended up using these two guys as bodyguards with submachine guns. Normally, I guess best practice would be to have the first lieutenant or your lieutenant for your force and one bodyguard because it gives them the small team rule. Uh, but honestly, I just needed to fill out the points. So I gave two models, two bodyguards uh, to the first lieutenant. And they're equipped as modeled with submachine guns, which is always a nice thing. The first lieutenant himself is kitted out with a pistol. So moving on to the infantry squads, they're identical, both 83 points. We have three infantry with rifle, uh, we have NCO with a submachine gun, and then we have one uh, light machine gun, uh, which we'll use one of the infantry guys, or one of the rifle guys as a loader. Uh, the uh, second here infantry squad is also, uh, it's identical. And they all have uh, anti-tank grenades because I know that James is probably going to bring in his Matilda which will probably be the toughest nut to crack in his force. Uh, again, these are all regular. Um, I, I couldn't uh, spend more uh, to get them to veteran status. Again, Germans are very expensive. So uh, anyway, moving on. I uh, decided to go with an MG34 LMG team. So that's a team of three. I did put these guys at veteran. Came out to 65 points. Um, and I, I'm going to talk about um, like the light machine guns uh, that are peppered throughout the entire uh, force uh, in a little bit. But uh, yeah, we have that MG34 LMG team, 65 points, they're veteran. And then I added an anti-tank rifle team. I have a shortage of anti-tank in here and I know that Matilda that he's going to feel is going to be a beast um, against my force. So this anti-tank team is also veteran and they came out to 39 points and then... <laughs> And you guys saw this recently, I did an unboxing of a Stug 3 Offs G, but I will be fielding that as an inexperienced Stug Offs B through E. I guess it doesn't really matter in terms of um, which version of it. It is going to be the early version, inexperienced at 128 points. So um, the thing about a German force in uh, bolt action is that you get that uh, Hitler's buzzsaw rule. And let me bring that up real quick. So the Hitler's Buzzsaw special rule states that German light and medium machine guns fire one extra shot. Note that this applies to all light and machine guns, both those carried by infantry units and vehicle mounted ones. Um, so in any case, um, I wanted to maximize within the selector how many light machine guns that I could take. Obviously, um, the, I'm limited in this early uh, war list to one uh, light machine gun per squad but still uh, having uh, that uh, light machine gun per squad as well as this 
MG34 LMG team really maximizes within this selector uh, the Hitler's buzzsaw rule, so that's the reason why I took those. Otherwise, I wouldn't have paid the extra 20 points for the light machine gun uh, for each of these squads. So, uh, but yeah, uh, real quick, real easy, 493 point list. Uh, I think it it covers everything as well as it could within the selector. Uh, and again, based on how what selector you choose, uh, different uh, characteristics traits and special rules will become available to you that is my list um nothing too special here you got that first lieutenant regular you got two regular here infantry squads you have the veteran mg34 lmg team veteran anti-tank rifle team and an experienced stuk 3 i just wanted to be able to use these in a bolt action uh game against james's british commonwealth so we're doing north africa obviously and now I'm just going to show off um, the army that I built, just so you guys can have a visual of what it looks like. Uh, please excuse the fact that they are not all painted. I am working my way through that. But uh, yeah, so let's take a look at that and we'll be right back. All right, guys, here is my 500 point uh, DAC or Deutsche Afrika Corps Army. Uh, I'm going to go uh, zoom in real quick here. Uh, so there is my first lieutenant with his two bodyguards. They are kitted out with submachine guns. Um, and then here is my first here infantry squad. Uh, the NCO is up at the front with a submachine gun. Then we have a couple riflemen and a light machine gun there. Uh, and then the second here infantry squad. This is exactly the same NCO with submachine gun. We have a light machine gun. And three riflemen over here is the mg34 lmg team uh, and again this is something that you could build out of the infantry box the africa Corps infantry box and uh yeah i think it's pretty neat i have another one of these teams being built right now here is your anti-tank rifle team again this is something that you could build out of the infantry box as well and then to round off the force is the stug uh inexperienced right there so that is my 500 point list that I will be fielding against James's British Commonwealth. I also wanted to show off the whole reason why I got the here or the Africa Corps Infantry Box is because I actually got this uh, Karad Schutzen uh, for a huge discount at my local gaming store. I tried to fit this in, but it would have taken the slot uh, that the Stug had in the um, DAC Light Infantry Selector. But again, I just wanted to show this off a little bit. I think it's pretty neat. I also got this for like four or five bucks, something like that for my local gaming store. But uh, yeah, maybe next time I'll be able to field this in uh, this list. Or I might uh, choose a different selector that'll allow me to take this and uh, armored, an armored vehicle as well. So let's put this guy aside. Last look at my 500 point list there again sorry guys it's not painted i am working on it um i mean even my anti-tank rifle team is not even primed but uh thanks to mark at kitchen war gamers for advising that i prime these guys in death guard green i never even thought to do that um and i think they look fantastic so that is my list buddy, we'll that is my 500 point list using uh the africa core infantry box set um, it just kind of shows you what you can build out of the kit itself. You can build a light machine gun team, an anti-tank rifle team. The one thing I didn't show you guys was the light mortar team that you can build out of it. Um, but that is an option that is available on the sprue. As with all the infantry boxes, you do have a variety of things that you can build out. Special weapons, all that fun stuff. And I think that is what makes these kits an excellent purchase. Especially if you're starting out in bolt action. Uh, you know, obviously I added a vehicle outside of the infantry box, uh, but uh, in terms of list building, you will eventually have to add stuff outside of this box. But um, an infantry box set, regardless of whether it's Africa Corps or any of the other infantry box sets for every nation in the game, is an excellent core to starting out your force for that particular army. Uh, it's all based on which selector, what era of uh, bolt action you want to play so keep that in mind when you're list building this is just a quick example of how to do that um, specifically for africa core that being said if you enjoyed this video 
uh, and would like to, I can do follow-up videos at 750 points and eventually 1,000 points. Uh, to give you a little bit more perspective on what you could feel in there, um, I like limiting it to 500 points because you really have to be a little bit more creative in terms of uh, you know, getting anything that you need to um, have a balanced force against uh, somebody that you're going to play against. But uh, obviously 750 and 1000 is uh, where you can start fielding uh, artillery and larger uh, tank uh, forces within the select group. So, Alright, that's it. If you like this video, go ahead and click like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I appreciate it if you would. Click the bell notification icon to get notified of all new list building, army building videos coming out of the channel, and then click the link in the description below to join our Discord server. That is the best way I could personally interact with you and chit chat you about list building and bolt action and any other type of video that we have coming out of the channel. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more army builds from Wargaming Noob.